a, a disciple was somebody who was basically committed to learning the rabbi's particular framework for the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. And we can think of Hillel and Shammai here. Yeah. And sec secondly, a real practical emphasis on it, kind of one of the commitments was a practical emphasis on learning to not just understand the information the rabbi had, but learning to become like the rabbi. Yeah. Like this is a big deal. And, and Jesus used that language all the time. You know, uh, you know, Luke, Luke six says, uh, Jesus uses the language says it's enough. Like it's, it's appropriate for a disciple or a student to just become like their master. Like that's the oh, objective. Yeah. And he, he said later, but some of you are saying, Lord, Lord, and not doing what I say. How yeah. is that? And so, um, so, so essentially with, with that in mind, I thought, man, understanding that becoming a disciple assumes a, a commitment to not only follow and learn from the rabbi, but to become like him, to allow for that process that he initiates for you to actually become like he is. And so that's basically mm -hmm. how I, how we emphasize discipleship here. It's just learning to obey Jesus and learning to become like him. That sounds maybe yeah. oversimplified, but if you break it down, I think it, it's a, it's a, it's actually been really fruitful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's what it was, you know, it was, uh, so, sort of learning through imitation was a big part of it. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, for me growing up, I would have you know, confused, the, the word discipleship with maybe education or even like mm -hmm. spiritual formation. Right. And while those are components, there is this more specific idea in, uh, in Judaism that right. I think we should all be aware of. <laughs>